Hello, everyone. I recently had an amazing experience coaching someone on using her magical calendar. The tip I'm about to share is something that you can use on any calendar. And the main the practice that, before I tell you the story, the main practice that we're tuning into is on the upper right hand side of every month. And it says up here, set weekly self-reflection dates with your calendar for 30 minutes. So you can do this using any calendar. It can be a paper calendar. It can be this calendar. It could be your, your smartphone calendar, whatever. Okay. So I found out from this person that she had just purchased. She was so excited. I was, that, and that's what I look for. My ears perk up when I see people uh, really excited and really delighted and their eyes are lit up. She was so excited that she had just found a soup tureen over the Christmas holiday when she was thrift store shopping with her mom. And it was a, a hundred year old piece of China that was matching the set of China that she has from her great grandmother. And she was so excited about it. She found it for $12 and 50 cents and it was worth like $150. It was some French name that I don't remember right now. Um, but you know, she was, she was kind of like, um, trying on her calendar. She hadn't quite situated herself with her weekly self-reflection dates. And so I said, how about if every week, since you have this whole set of China that I know is sitting under your counter and some fancy packages so that they're protected, um, why don't you take out a piece of China every single week and let yourself just have that piece of China sit on your calendar, sit on your counter for the week to inspire you. And I said, you know, I know she's got a lot of different things going on in her life. And um, I said, don't even worry about like making something to put in it, just the delight of it. And all of a sudden I felt her like freeze. Now I really want you to pay attention here because this is everything that I do in coaching. So I'm going to give you like so many keys right now. I saw her freeze. And, and I'm like, what, what's going on? What happened? Why'd you just freeze? We were just talking about how delighted you are about your soup terrain. What happened? And she said, oh, I just feel I'm going to turn into like a really snooty person with my China. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Like that's not going to get her to, you know, enjoy her China. Right? So I was getting her objections, her inner objections on the table. And I said, well, it took me a few minutes. And I said, well, I also know that inside of you from some other things that you've told me that you love like archeological digs and, you know, having your hands in mud, even though you haven't done that in a long time because you've been professional for a really long time, but you love having your hands in mud and you love the idea of like Aboriginal children and the Aboriginal child in you, you've even said it. So I said, what if the Aboriginal child in you gets to pick the piece of China every week and just have it as a form of play. And she was like, Oh my gosh, I love that idea. So now she has on her calendar, um, Aboriginal China every Sunday. And that's how she meets herself. And then what happens is throughout the week, she'll be thinking automatically. This is like, it's like a self perpetuation positivity machine. That's how this thing works. You don't have to try hard. Once you set the right things in motion, you don't have to try hard. You don't have to think so hard. And so, um, every week she gets to think about what she's going to, but oh, she's delight. She gets to, to think about what China she's going to have on her counter that next week. Well, guess what's going to happen from that thought form? Ooh, I wonder what kind of food I'd like to put in there. Oh, maybe I can invite somebody over. So it's, and even if she never does those things, that's totally fine. She doesn't ever have to. Um, the idea is just to bring delight in her day. So I wanted to give you three things that I look for, for self-reflection dates to like, to energize these three aspects of yourself um, inside of your self-reflection date. Anything that delights you, any sense of knowing, you know, you have a sense of knowing that's your deeper strength. You want to access that on a regular basis. Like a friend of mine said one time, I know I need to take vitamins. I know I need to take vitamins. I'm like, stop talking about it. Let's go to the store and get you vitamins right now. And she's like, no, no, they're on my kitchen counter. 
oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So you got to honor your knowing. You have to honor your delight. You have to honor your knowing and you have to honor your mindset. So use that time for up-leveling your mindset. So you get this half hour date every week. And when you're doing that to up-level your mindset, let's say you're going to be like, well, you know, it really helps me when I take a bath every week, or it really helps me when I listen to these certain podcasters, I really get uplifted. And now I have a place on my calendar where I can actually put those things, those, those teachers or those teachings, and I can repeat them. Maybe I put them on a little index card and have it right in front of me. Um, but you use the half hour every week to emphasize the honoring of your knowing of your delight and of your mindset. And so, um, I honor you. I honor your dreams. Your dreams lead you to your future. And that's why they excite me so much because they're in the realm of possibility and the realm of possibility is the realm of magic. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions about using your calendar, please share them here. If you have any stories about how, you, how you're using your calendar, how it's helpful to you, something you might be doing in it that's really working or something that you might be doing in it that you're tweaking to make it true to you. Um, I want to know. It can help other people here, and that's what we're doing. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.